Carlson. I'm the germination and purity lab manager here at Sodec Labs and today we're going to talk about soybean sand germination testing. So for each sample we plant four replicates of a hundred seeds according to the AOSA rules for germination testing. We try to implement as much lean manufacturing as we can into our system. Notice we have a planting line where the trays actually come to the planters. Here we're covering the tray with sand to promote uniform emergence or to reduce secondary fungal infection. Samples are placed in carts and they go into our 25C warm room for seven days. Our system is automated and so we can scan all samples into carts and it prints the tag out notifying us when we need to evaluate each sample. At the end of the day it also tells us if we missed any samples for evaluation. We scan each QR code and it brings up the sample number that we're evaluating. This helps us to reduce errors in the laboratory. Here we're forward counting the normal seedlings. We tug on each seedling to verify that the roots are securely anchored into the crepe cellulose paper that's covered with sand. We also document any abnormalities that we identify in the sample if there's any fungal issues. We document everything directly onto the tablet and save it so the data goes out to the customers right away. We also have thresholds set up within our system. So our in-house threshold is 90% and customers can identify what they want their threshold set at. If samples fall below the threshold, we can extend for up to two days. At the point of extension, we go back through the sample and evaluate any additional emerged normals and we also use this screen to remove the sand and count any normal seedlings that are remaining under the sand that have not emerged. Here we're examining the sample for any of those smaller normal seedlings that have emerged and screening off the sand and looking at each quadrant for additional normal seedlings. Normal seedlings need to have healthy cotyledon tissue and sufficient roots to anchor into the system, into the CCP and sand, and a healthy hypocotyl. This is the screen that we document our normals on. So notice we have a normal column an unemerged column and then the extended column. So when you add all three of these up, that's going to give you your total normal percentage. Here you can see the report of analysis view. It includes the date the germination was completed, the unique lot number, and the four category averages. Have questions, feel free to contact us anytime.